welcome to my craft room. Carol Gatton, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today we're making this adorable little basket. This is made, if you can believe it, with just one sheet of cardstock. The three quarters at the end, this is our handle, then that's going to leave you ten and one eighth, and we'll cut that right down the center, making each one of these panels five and one sixteenth. If you can believe it, this is made with the scallop envelope die, and we will be cutting out four of these little envelopes to make our basket. I'm only using one of the flaps, and the other one I've covered with cardstock and adhered onto our die. Our base is a cutting pad and a piece of cardstock. You want to now bring in your bashful blue cardstock and you want to butt it up to that piece of cardstock you have on your plate and if you notice right at the cutting line you could barely see it then you want to slide that cardstock over so that uh, it's covered now let's flip that around and repeat that same process until you have four of these you can get two out of each panel and you noticed I'm using our crease pad, which is really important so that you get the creases in this die. You can tell the right side of this scallop, so make sure that that's the part that is facing out, and then you will fold in the flap and your base and score those really well with your bone folder. Line those up and get those all ready. You're going to do an assembly line now and so using the multi-purpose glue is the glue of choice because it's really strong you could use red line but this is a lot cheaper you want to butt that edge that has no flap right up to the score line but not on the score line because this will have to bend and then if you pay attention to the bottom right where that base is for the bottom of your little box you want to have those lines lined up this is so easy, goes together really, really fast. Then the end that is left, you want to bring the other side over, and you've done everything flat, so it makes it so easy. I'm using glue dots to adhere down my little scalloped edges, and you want to do that on both sides. And then once you have that all done, we're ready now to decorate our handle. The grid paper, these little squares are one quarter inch each. So I'm counting four on each side so that I have one inch from the edge. And now I'm going to adhere that ribbon right onto that handle. We are going to find where the center of this scallop is. And we're going to make a little mark. And you'll flip your box around and do the same thing to the other side. And, you know, this would be something you wouldn't have to do if you want to just eye it up. And now punch that out, and we are ready to put our handle in. And so line that up and mark that. And once again, I'm doing this for those who are very detailed people and want to see exactly where the center is, but you could eye that up also. And then bring in your brad, and you're ready to put your handle on goes together really really fast there is so many different ways to decorate this and you could eliminate putting a handle on this all together and this would be a really cute little decorative element for any type of party or occasion but we're going to put the handle on it and I've decorated this with a flower and also with the bunny and the bunny would be adorable for any child's birthday party I'm using glue dots um, to adhere this on on the squares and the last one on each one of the, the sides to adhere it in because I'm going to be reinforcing that bottom with a 3 by 3 inch square. And so get your adhesive in and your basket is almost finished. Add some grass and candy and you have an adorable little basket. Well, thank you so much and until next time.